All right, I finally broke down and bought one of these probes. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, really cheap oscilloscope probes out of China. And uh, this one is a, a 100 to 1 passive probe. And uh, I don't need it very often, but I found myself needing it the other day. And I thought, well, maybe we should buy one of these things. Um, they're, they're super cheap. I don't remember what I paid for it. Um, but it's a, it's a 100 to 1 probe. Now, most scope probes are 10 to 1, but this is a 100 to 1 probe. So it allows you to probe high voltage things. And it's this nice red color to here, too. So you won't, get, you won't get confused and grab the wrong probe. So yeah, 100 to 1 probe. Uh, Let's see what it what it says in the instructions here. It's kind of uh, like instructions one for everything. Um, it's supposed to be a hundred megahertz probe. Uh, and yeah, there's not really much. <laughs> there's not really much in here. All right, let me turn on the oscilloscope here. It takes a while to warm up, unfortunately. Um, one of my major complaints about these rigels is they take forever to turn on. Um, but we'll uh, see if we can't compensate it. That comes with a little adjustment tool. And I need to find a high voltage square wave um, to compensate this thing for. And I think, I think one of my uh, function generators will put out at least 30 volts. And that should be good enough. Let's try it over here. All right, we're going to be on channel three here, so let's turn that on. Trigger on channel three. And uh, three, we can say our attenuation is, oh, it doesn't have 100 to one. Oh, yeah, it does. 100 to one, there we go. Attenuation, 100 to one, excellent. All right, let's uh, hook it up to a uh, function generator here. And we are getting a we are getting a signal here. Can't trigger on it. All right, let's put a square wave. Very nice. That's a not really a square wave. That's a square. Wave. There we go. That's a square wave. All right, amplitude. Let's see how much amplitude we can get out of this thing here. I think it's uh, looks like it's pretty well compensated already, but. Uh, Yeah, that looks pretty good already, but we will go ahead and tweak it anyway. Let's see where the tweaker is here. All right. So, yeah, I don't know if you can be you can be able to see this or not, but there's a little hole here. We can put our adjustment tool down in it and adjust it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it kind of goes up in amplitude, then down again. So I guess we want to peak it. Yeah, there we go. So, I don't know if you could see me doing that off screen there. I'll do it again. It seems as though it kind of has a peak, which is where you want to, where you want to be. So there we go. We're at five, so five, 10, 15, almost 20 volts. In amplitude and uh, very good I like it so now when I have something a uh, high voltage I'll have my uh, 100 to 1 probe and do things let's uh, let's move it to my other function generator that's uh, calibrated pretty well for amplitude and Let's see what it says there. Make sure it really goes 100 to 1. And amplitude. We will need lots of amplitude. Get as much amplitude as we can out of it. That's about it. And we'll go to square wave here. Ah, ah this one's better. Okay, forget that other uh, forget that other generator. This is going to be a better generator to uh, to tweak it with. Yeah, there we go. See there, that's the kind of thing we want. 
we want to have not it going up, not it going down. We want it going straight across. Straight across. Yeah, very, very nice. All right, let's try it with a, since this is low voltage, we can try it with another, another scope probe. And we'll turn on channel one, which is a times 10 probe. Oh, did I just change, I just changed the wrong one, darn it. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Channel three. All right, channel three is a times 100 probe. All right, channel one. Channel one. Channel one is a times 10 probe. All right. And there we go. There's its... So... This is five volts per division. This is five volts per division. Yep. So they're they're reading both exactly the same. So um, that looks pretty good. Should match it to the generator, not to the yeah there. I'd say there. Interesting. Yeah, the uh, compensation seems to be a little bit different between the two. Oh, there we go. Now they seem to match. Yep. So the generator itself droops a little bit there. So interesting. Anyway, I now have a times 100 probe and I'll be able to use it.